Hello everyone and welcome to Yankee Dabbler. Well, however, as you can see, we are not in the store right now. We are on the road. That's right, this is Yankee Dabbler on the road because we are actually traveling to the Illinois State Railroad Museum and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the main reason we're going is because Rapido is gonna be doing an open house of some of the new products that they're gonna be showcasing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna see some operating steam locomotives. We're gonna see some of the things that are at the museum as well as seeing the open house of Rapido. So stay tuned for Yankee Dabbler on the road in Illinois, and I hope you enjoy the show. have two locomotives that are actually fired up right now. As you can see in back of me, I have Decapod number 1630, and then over there I have a Shane locomotive number five. Now both of these engines are gonna be running excursions today, so we're gonna get a bunch of videos, and hopefully you're gonna enjoy the show, so all aboard.
All right, for all you diesel fans out of here, they actually have an E5 Burlington Root. It's actually the Nebraska Zephyr, and this is an awesome looking tray. If you ever seen one of these in person, or if you've seen the model of it, you know what I'm talking about. This is a great looking tray. I love this concept, so we're gonna take a video. So enjoy this locomotive. here there's operating locomotives there's really neat displays there's a lot of really cool railroad men the Arbilia, and there's even a model train section so what more could you want so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the museum i'm going to show you a whole bunch of stills maybe i'll give my uh, my uh, you know thoughts and opinions on some of the things that i see here we're going to take a look at some of these operating locomotives and more importantly we're just gonna have fun here this is a fun place here so i can't wait for you guys to see what we have all aboard <laughs> Atchison, Santa Fe. Uh, this car dates back to eight. I'm sorry, 1917. Has a really cool looking car here. There's a lot of really neat stuff here. I especially like the decor that they have over here. If you check this out, a Scout. That's pretty cool. Uh, some of the stuff is so neat and uh, pretty old. I feel like I need to go on a diet here. I'm a little, a little trap here. Ooh. in another car here this is a combine car again for the santa fe uh, but what's neat about the combine car here is as you can see i have all the different various types of baggage that would go in here on these parts and then the second half of this car is actually a coach so yeah. check this out bam cool. cool stuff
caboose right here, okay? So this is actually a off-center caboose right here. Looks awesome. I love the displays here. Check this out, cabooses within 50 miles of Union. I love my cabooses, we all know that, okay? But check this out, all right? So I just got out of the caboose, and now what I'm gonna do is so let's check out the bay, uh, a stock car right here. And this is a Santa Fe stock car right here. So this is, of course, where they would keep, uh, you know, various different forms of livestock and whatever else that they want to put in here. Check out this car. How bad do you think this car must have smelled at one point? Whew. <laughs> this is cool. All right. So we got a really neat looking stock car right here. And then if you want to get your produce on, well, you can always go to the refrigerator car right here. And bam, let's turn up the ice. Look at this. In my refrigerator car right here, various different types of tools that was used. A lot of great stuff happening here. Hey, look, there's our beer cars. We still have some of them, buy them. Nice, all right. Got a whole bunch of different beer cars. Or I'm sorry, refrigerator car. I got beer in the mine now. And then check this out. Okay, so I know a lot of people have auto carriers, and this is a car that I bet you a lot of people would want to have in real life. So check out this auto carrier right here. So this is the box car right here for the Rock Island, but oh yeah, oh yeah. I guarantee you guys want these at home. And then another thing I think is really neat about this is not only the rolling stock, I have amazing looking passenger cars off to my, uh, uh, my left. I have these uh, pa uh, freight cars to my right. I really can't talk. I'm just too excited. There's so much trains happening. But we also have some locomotives. And this is a really neat one. This is from the Public Service Company. This is a 060T. Check out this guy. This is the real Thomas the Tank Engine. Baldwin Locomotive Works. Represent Philadelphia. There you go. A lot of fun stuff here. neat display that they have here as you can see I have a whole bunch of different types of singles and various different types of caution lights and whatnot for the railroad and you just go down the list right here look at all these things I guarantee engineer Hall probably has one of each of these on his layout that's cool I love the Pensy style ones oh look some of them actually operate too that's pretty neat uh, this is cool Going down the list here. Probably need some extra ampage to make these things work, but just guess. Cool stuff. All right, this has been a fun day so far, seeing all the locomotives that they have running here, as well as all the exhibits. This is a really cool place. If you ever had the opportunity to get down here, I highly recommend it because there's a lot of fun stuff here to see. So tomorrow, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be taking a look at Rapido's open house, where they're going to be showcasing the latest and greatest and new items that they have coming, hopefully, to your layout real soon. So we'll uh, t tune in tomorrow, and we'll see what that's going to be. But, of course, with the magic of the Internet, it's going to be just like that. So stay tuned for a day. Number two.